Conversational AI is introducing a new era of experiences and ushering in an entirely new type of software, the AI agent. AI agents are autonomous software systems that are powered by large language models. They are capable of complex reasoning, communication, decision-making, and they are able to pursue goals with creativity and flexibility. So whereas traditional software applications can help you do the work, AI agents get the work done for you. It's a super helpful explanation. Thank you, Anna. But I'm curious, I've heard of so many different types of AI agents from personal assistants to agents that are reviewing legal contracts for you. Can you help me break down the different types of AI agents? Of course. So broadly speaking, we believe that there are three types of AI agents. In your personal life, you're going to have an AI assistant that's going to help you run errands, schedule appointments, or buy products. At work, we are going to have AI-powered uh, co-pilots that are going to help us analyze data, create content, or even act as your personal AI chief of staff. And finally, companies will deploy their AI agents to engage with their consumers, making it easy for consumers to get answers, to return items, to update their subscription, to even schedule a furniture delivery or troubleshoot technology. These company AI agents are going to be perfect representatives of the company's brand and a representation of the best of that company has to offer. Well, all of those sound like huge productivity boosts, both personally and professionally, but to get a wee bit more technical, how do all of these AI agents interact with LLMs? Well, the first key attribute of every AI agent is that it's powered by an LLM. LLMs like Google's Gemini or OpenAI's GPT-40 act as the brain of the agent. And it's that brain that enables the AI agent to communicate. But it's not just about exchanging words. AI agents are able to sense sarcasm or evaluate jargon, sense frustration or delight. And it's not just about interpreting all of that information. AI agents are also able to communicate, speak, and write with nuanced answers. So communication is a big part of what LLMs enable AI agents to do. But those LLMs also imbue agents with the ability to perform sophisticated reasoning. OpenAI's GPT-40 has passed high school AP exams, the LSATs, and the MCATs. Pretty impressive. Now imagine if that firepower was reallocated to help solve your customer and business problems. Very, very powerful. Now, LLMs are a big part of AI agents, but they're not the only part. It's super helpful to think of the LLM as the brain of the agent. It's an important component, but not the only component, right? But I'm curious, you mentioned that AI agents can reason and solve problems, but we also talked earlier about them being different from traditional software because they can get stuff done. So break that down for me. How exactly are AI agents getting things done for you? For an AI agent to be able to get things done, it needs to be able to follow a plan, access your systems, and reflect on memories. In the same way that you would hand a new employee or even a seasoned employee a handbook, you need to empower your AI agent with instructions and guardrails. Additionally, for your AI agent to be able to get things done, it needs to have secure access to your systems. That access is essential for anything from processing an order to managing a subscription to helping a customer make a return. So AI agents can communicate, reason, and take action all on their own as a technology in the abstract that's really powerful. But if you're putting that same technology in front of customers, a key question is naturally going to be, how can you trust it? At Sierra, our number one value is trust. And we are committed to bringing all available AI security best practices to help manage and monitor your AI agent. For example, at Sierra, we use AI to supervise our AI agents. So you might not realize, but if you asked a large language model to evaluate its own performance, it would actually be able to spot and correct errors, similar to how you or I might proofread an email before clicking send. So at Sierra, we have created AI supervisors. They're able to do just that. They can spot errors, make sure an AI agent stays on topic, or even escalate to a person when needed. Our layered approach aims to enhance reliability and help your AI agent maintain alignment with your business rules and your ethical guidelines. Well, I just learned a ton about AI agents thanks to you, Anna, so thank you for that. I 
totally feel prepared to impress my friends at our next dinner party. Mm -hmm.